This tutorial discusses the estimation of the simple linear regression model in Microsoft Excel. We're going to use Excel to estimate the Phillips curve, which explains unemployment and inflation, using an OLS model. In order to use regression analysis in Microsoft Excel, firstly we must ensure that our data analysis tool pack is enabled. To do so, we will select File and Options. From here we will select Add-ins, and we then wish to manage our Excel add-ins by selecting Go. We ensure that we Data Analysis Tool Pack is selected, and we press OK. Data Analysis Tool Pack is generally not enabled on most Microsoft Excels in the default setting, so you may need to enable it as I've just shown. To access this then, we simply select our, our Data tab, and choose Data Analysis. Once we open our Analysis Tool Pack, we wish to select Regression. And from here, we can then run our Regression Analysis. We can see that our Input section, we want to have our Y variable, which is Unemployment. So we select from cell B2 to cell B15. For our X input range, we want cell C2 to C15, which is our inflation value. There are a number of other values that we can enable. We can enable labels, we can change our confidence interval, or generate residual plots. We're not going to enable any of those today. We want to open it in a new Excel worksheet, and we select OK. The key factors we want to look at today are the intercept values and the X values of the coefficient. We can see that the intercept takes a value of approximately 10.69, and the x variable coefficient takes a value of approximately minus 1.32. The intercept value is the value of y when x is 0, essentially where our line of best fit cuts the y-axis, and our x variable coefficient shows the effect of a one unit change in x on y. So in this instance, when x increases by one unit, y decreases by 1.32. We note the negative sign on the coefficient implies a negative relationship. What we will now do is show how these are linked to our error term. So I will copy and paste both these values in our initial spreadsheet for use. What we will first derive is our y hat values, or our predicted values of y. These are the fitted values given our linear regression model. What we want is our model is equal to our intercept value plus our slope coefficient multiplied by our x values. We can drag this formula down to show our various predicted values of y hat. What we can immediately observe is that our y hat values do not equal our actual observed y values. There is a difference between them. This difference is essentially our error term. So our error term is given by the difference in our actual y value minus our fitted y value. We can again drag this value formula down and we can see that each year has an individual error term. If we sum these error terms, we can see that they sum to approximately zero. In this instance, the slight difference is due to rounding errors. e to the minus 14 basically indicates that we should move our decimal places four, decimal point 14 places to the left. So our value is very close to zero. This meets one of the assumptions of the classical linear regression model. Ordinary least squares essentially minimizes the sum of the squared error terms in a model to find the line which best fits the equation. So in order to show this and show how OLS minimizes the sum of the square error, we're going to square each of our individual error terms. Again, drag the formula down and add these values. So this is our error squared column. 
we can see that the sum of the squared error terms is 74.005. If we look back at our regression results, we can see that this value is equal to the residual sum of squared value of 74.005. Essentially, ordinary least squares estimation minimizes the sum of squared error, otherwise known as the sum of square residual. This is the lowest sum of square residual which can be derived given the values of x and y that we have. Therefore, we have this line which best fits our data given as an intercept value of 10.69 and a slope value of 1 point, minus 1.32.